10 a.m. on the morning of the 6th of September 1995, here in Killarney, Ireland, a future champion jockey was born, but not everyone was ready for his arrival. Oshin was born in 27 weeks just gestation, and I was on the road to Cork, and we had to stop off in a place called Balavorna, and he arrived on scene, unannounced, literally unannounced. And from there, he was transferred to the neonatal unit he had some serious interventions as a baby because he had uh, a, a little bit of a problem with his bone development. So he needed an awful lot of occupational therapy and physiotherapy to try and develop the bones correctly. But I presume he's never let the difficulties in the early start stage of his life affect him going forward. Adversity was not going to hold him back, regardless. And I think he was born with that determination and that steely determination is with him right now. And at what stage was Asheen first exposed to horses? From a very, very young child, my father was always into horses. So he, every afternoon he'd sit watching the racing on television. And from Asheen being very young, he'd sit in his lap. And my father used to ride the finishes of Asheen the <laughs> jockey. Especially watching Jim, my father would get very animated. And even though Asheen didn't realise who Jim was at the time, because Jim was plying his trade in England, so he didn't even realise that Jim was his uncle. He became very enamoured by the whole drama of the whole racing, following the race, watching the horses, watching the colours, you know. And he wins the Gold Cup from Comanche Court in 30 sequel business, a wonderful run. Who have we got here? <laughs> a few familiar faces. <laughs> that is Ruby Walsh and Tony McCoy, and that was um, way back on, in 2004. And he was? He, oh, she was 10. Have you kept scrapbooks of his uh, successes? Uh, I've kept a lot of things, really, but that's the pony that's outside in the yard. So we bought this pony for Oisin as a, as a three-year-old pony to help him in his career, to get him started and to improve his riding. And he went on to win a discovery class at Mill Street with the pony, which was a big uh, local show. So as a result of this, then, he started uh, getting very, very interested in uh, show jumping. And uh, it began him in a, a very successful career in show jumping. Uh, which kept him going till he was about 14 or 15 when he got into pony racing. <laughs> this is the yard where um, Jim moved to a couple of years ago and the yard where he trained Lauren Windermere to win the Gold Cup. This is also the yard that um, Oisin spent a lot of his young teenage years as we moved here when he was 11. And then Oisin left here when he was 16 even though the previous summer to that, when he was 15, he went to Tommy Stack's. Mm -hmm. And in fairness to Tommy Stack, Tommy Stack actually showed him how to ride a racehorse properly. The finessing of race riding mm -hmm. was done in Tommy Stack's. So he came back then and he did his leaving cert. And at 16, he finished school here and he went to Aidan O'Brien's. The opportunity would not have been there to continue as an apprentice with Aidan. So it was Aidan's advice that he went to England and between Aidan and Jim here, that they decided that Andrew Baldwin's would probably be the best place for him to go. I've only had one ambition and it was always the horsey route. On my fourth birthday I went and had a riding lesson. I had lots of ponies at home, we were jumping every weekend and I really enjoyed it. My uncle Jim, who was training beside us, asked me to come and ride out. On my first morning, I got ran off with on the round gallop. We were supposed to do probably two laps. I ended up doing about 10. And, um, and I knew there and then I should try and be a jockey. Coming up in part two, we'll have a look at Asheen's move from his beautiful rural homeland over to England where he joined the Andrew Boarding Stable at Kingscliff. We'll talk to him about his first rides, his first winner, the phenomenal breakthrough year in 2018 with those nine Group 1 wins, and most importantly, being crowned champion jockey on Kipco British Champions Day.